Hey guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at Parallels 13, which in case you don't know, Parallels is a virtual machine manager, which it allows you to run Windows on a Mac, Linux on a Mac, a Mac on a Mac, it's really clever stuff. Over here as you can see, I've got Microsoft Word using Windows 8 on the right side, and I've got Batman, an actual game running on Windows 10, two virtual machines at the same time, running on MacBook Pro. So it's a pretty powerful package. Best thing about it, of course, you can run all these virtual machines at the same time without having to constantly restart your Mac like you would in other solutions. In this review, we're gonna primarily look at performance, comparing it to its predecessor, Parallels 12, as well as taking a look at some of the cool new features that I personally like, and most importantly, of course, how it handles Windows gaming. All right, let's get going. All rock music aside, the performance between the two were neck and neck. However, I thought I'd dig deeper to see if any under the hood improvements were made. As you can see when playing a YouTube video, Parallels 13 used slightly less CPU usage and was more energy efficient. When playing around in 3D Studio Max, the CPU usage was pretty much neck and neck, but I was getting a slightly better reading in Parallels 13. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my Xbox wireless controller working any of the games through the VM, and a few of the newer games refused to launch. However, I did manage to get some games up and running, and surprisingly, they were actually playable. all within a VM, the audacity. Now there's a few more features which I haven't had time to cover in this review since it would have made it so long. You can run bootcamp within Parallels. You don't need to restart your Mac for it, especially if you don't need the extra performance. You can run Linux on Parallels and you want to emulate your computer to act more like the server computer you're using. Boom, shakalaki, you can do that. Overall, I'd say if you're already on Parallels 12, I guess the need to upgrade isn't there yet since performance hasn't improved. Of course, when High Sierra drops, you probably will need it then. However, if you haven't got Parallels before, it's probably a good bet. It's the easiest virtual machine manager I've used and it's the most performant one. The feature I'd say which probably makes it the most upgrade worthy is the resource usage slider. Now, I've actually edited this video with Windows running in the background. I've set the resource usage slider down to low and I haven't noticed any, any problems whatsoever. And I'm using only a dual core Mac, so if you had one of those quad cores, boom shakalaka. Some really good stuff is happening. One thing I wish they would have improved, and I'll be contacting their support to see if I can get it improved actually, is support for Xbox controllers and more Windows games, because I'm actually more inclined to actually play Windows games, because for me, the whole step of having to close down all your apps just to restart into bootcamp Windows, to play some games, to then restart again to get back to Mac and doing some productivity, 
is a bit of a deterrent. So if I can just get the Parallels gaming sessions going, it'll be such a relief. If you hear that Parallels, please, please fix the Xbox controller issue. You know, knowing them, it'll probably be fixed by now. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you're interested in some more technical reviews, let me know what you'd like. Otherwise, I've got a bag load of stuff I'd like to share with you. Thanks for watching, and peace! Uh huh. Babe. Yeah. Listening to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you playing games? No. Babe, I'm on Mac. You, you you don't have games on Mac. See? Look. I. Whatever. I know that you've got Windows parallels. You can't fool me like that. Now get back and do some work and listen to me. Gosh, you're so annoying. <laughs>